Welcome to Hard Science, a show where we use just a little bit of knowledge about the world to bend it to our whim. I am Anthony. I'm Tara. And you know, it may not surprise people who have watched our past videos, but we are kind of klutzy. Yeah, you do injure yourself a lot. Quite like, a More bit. than is normal. When I was a kid, it was like this too. And I would run in and inevitably I would have some sort of joint injury because mm -hmm. those are the most painful. Yeah. And my mother would put hydrogen peroxide on it and it would bubble. And it burns real bad. And I thought maybe I had superpowers and was from another planet. But it's just, it's a regular reaction. Yeah, it's totally science. Hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. So you can basically think of it as water with some extra oxygen added. Free bonus oxygen. This is 3% hydrogen peroxide. You probably have this somewhere in your house. It's good for treating minor scrapes, but of course we like to do things bigger here. So we have 30% hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, you probably want gloves while you're doing that. <laughs> it bleaches and kills organisms, which is why it is used on cuts. It's also used for whitening teeth and cleaning clothes. You can use it as a mouthwash. You can use it as everything except a dessert topping. I would not recommend that. Today we're gonna to be making something called elephant toothpaste. There you go, buddy. We need a giant toothbrush. And what you're gonna need for this is a lot of that 30% hydrogen peroxide. You're also gonna need the catalyst, which is potassium iodide and water mixed together, as well as a tiny bit of Dawn soap, and of course a container to put it all in. Catalyst is a chemical that actually speeds up a chemical reaction. So by adding the potassium iodide, we are speeding up the decomposition of the hydrogen peroxide. As soon as we pour it in, it will explode. As soon as Here, you, I'll hand as it to you. As soon as you pour it in. Gotcha. When you add the catalyst to the hydrogen peroxide, two things happen. The first is that oxygen gets trapped inside those soap bubbles, causing the foam. The second thing is that the sudden influx of oxygen from the reaction causes it all to basically squirt out the top. And that's how we get the name elephant toothpaste. It's not supposed to drink it. Ah, oh, well you're not supposed to eat toothpaste either, but I do. That's a good start. Let's go big. Now comes the fun part. As soon as we pour this in, it's basically gonna explode. So pour it in as fast as you can. I fear nothing. I welcome the abyss. Woo! Woo! Oh, it does oh, look like does toothpaste! It. it actually works. Boom! I thought it would all just sort of mix together. I like that initial bit, but then it slowed down and I got sad. Yeah. And so I feel like I'm going to need more. Yeah, always wanting more. All right. So, we've got four of these things now. Yes. We are adding more of the potassium iodide to each mixture. 500 milliliters of this in each one of these flasks. I believe in us. <laughs> yeah! Oh! Yeah! See, that's the reaction I wanted earlier. Boom! Look at all this steam. Yeah, this is like a bubble bath right here. Lovely. That you do not want to bathe in. I feel like I got it on me. Not so much here or here, <sighs> but right here. Oh, Petri, you came back. You're okay. You probably shouldn't touch him. He's, he's a little worse a, for wear. He's a chemical hazard. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. Thank you to everybody who suggested this experiment. I enjoyed yeah. it. Uh, if you have anything else that you want to see us do, you can hit us up either down below in the comments or uh, on Twitter. Yeah, twitter.com slash hard science show. It's that easy. He thinks you're his mommy. I've never made out with an elephant before. It's a new experience. Well, you gotta try something yeah. every day. I'm not, I didn't hate it, you know? I'm not yeah. gonna lie, I didn't hate it. <laughs>